John Gill's Exposition of the Bible Text Then on the third day Abraham lifted up his eyes, and saw the place afar off. Genesis 22 4 Commentary Then on the third day After he had received the command from God, and from his setting out on his journey, for he had now traveled two days, Mount Moriah being forty miles from Beersheba, where Abraham dwelt, or, as others compute it, forty Hebron was twenty miles from Beersheba, and Jerusalem twenty-two from Hebron, and to travel twenty miles a day on foot, as Isaac and the servants seemed to have done, there being but one ass among them, was far enough in those hot countries. Now all this while Abraham had time to reconsider things in his mind, and deliberate thoroughly what he was going about, and by proceeding in it, after he had such leisure to revolve things in his mind, it appears that he was satisfied it was not an illusion, but an oracle of God he was going to obey, and that he did not do this rashly and hastily, and that his faith and obedience were sufficiently tried, and found genuine. The Jews take great notice of this third day, and compare the passage with, Hosea 6 2, in which they interpret of the third day of the resurrection, and the deliverance of Isaac on this third day was doubtless typical of Christ's resurrection from the dead on the third day, for from the time that Abraham had the command to offer up his son, he was reckoned no other by him than as one dead, from whence he received him in a figure on this third day, Hebrews 11:19. Abraham lift up his eyes, and saw the place afar off, where he was to offer his son. Baal Hadarim says, the word place, by Gematri, signifies Jerusalem it seems by this, that as God had signified to Abraham that he would tell him of the place, and show it to him, where he was to sacrifice, so that he gave him a signal by which he might know it, which some of the Jewish writers say was a cloud upon the mount, with which agrees the Targum of Jonathan. And Abraham lift up his eyes and saw the cloud of glory smoking upon the mountain, and he knew it afar off. And others say, he saw the glory of the divine majesty standing upon the mount, in a pillar of fire, reaching from earth to heaven, and they further observe, that the place where he was, when he saw this, was Sophim, a place not far from Jerusalem, and from hence, when the city and temple were built, a full view might be taken of them, from whence it had its name.